In the Skyport Universal video, you saw how the system can be used as a radio trigger with any make of flash. Well, hold on to your hats, because as they say, you ain't seen nothing yet. Now it starts to get really clever. The next module in the system is this little beauty, the RX transceiver, and this works exclusively with the Elinchrom RX units. The RX range consists of three compact flash heads, available in outputs of 300, 600 and 1200 watt seconds. Two digital RX power packs, a 1200 and a 2400, and the three Ranger RX battery powered units, the Ranger RX, the Ranger RX Speed and the Ranger RX Speed AS. With the power packs we can use a variety of heads. The RX module draws power from the unit, so it has no battery. To fit it to a Ranger RX pack, you need to use this little post adapter. After making sure the dip switches are all set to the same frequency, and remember we have the choice of eight 40-bit encrypted channels, we're ready to go. My main light here has an RX transceiver fitted to the pack and set to Group 1. If I set the selector switch on my Skyport transmitter to Group 1, firstly of course it will fire the unit, but secondly I can adjust the power output of the light from my camera position. Every time I press either the plus or minus button once, I'm changing the power output of the head by exactly one tenth of an f-stop. So let's take a reading with my flash meter. Let's say I want to shoot at f8. I take a meter reading, and the meter tells me that the light is giving me f5.6 and 7 tenths. I now know that I need to turn the power up by 3 tenths of a stop. Now of course I can do that on the RX pack by pressing the power up button three times. But with the Skyport, I can press the plus button on my transmitter three times, which turns the head up for me. Isn't that cool? Now my fill light on this side, I want to fire at 5.6, one stop less than my main. So by setting my RX transceiver to group 2 and selecting group 2 on my transmitter, I can just fire the fill light and take a reading. Whoops, that's giving me F8, one whole stop too much. Now by pressing the minus button 10 times, I'm changing only the power of my fill light. My main light is ignoring me. Of course, I can repeat this for two more lights. I could have the RX transceiver on my hair light on group three and on my background light on group four. So long as I have the selector switch set to the correct group, I can adjust each light individually. Now if I change the selector switch from group to all and press the plus and minus buttons, I can turn all my lights up or down, but keeping them in the same ratios. Of course when I shoot, I need to set to all to fire all my lights. When I first saw this, I was knocked out, especially when I found out how inexpensive it all is. But as I said, you ain't seen nothing yet. You now need to watch the final thrilling instalment to see something even more incredible when we go to the next stage of the Elinchrom Remote Studio System. I'm Chris Burford. Thanks for watching.